Hello my friends, welcome again. I'm going to start a new series for the Laravel API and for that I have downloaded this Insomnia application. If you want you can download insomnia.rest and download a new Mac if you have a Mac or PC. Okay, or you can download another application called it Postman. Anyone is going to work and I'm going I'm inside the Laravel directory where I have all the Laravel applications I'm going to create new Laravel application call it uh, Laravel API and why we need API is because maybe we want in, in the backend to have the Laravel application and for the front end maybe we want a view uh, application so to make a connect with our backend we are going to work with an API or we, maybe we want to have a react or angular application for front end and for the backend we have uh, Laravel or maybe for the uh, iOS and Android applications okay so I have created this I'm going to cd into the Laravel API and open with a VS Code okay and first I'm going to go inside the API routes here is where the routes for the API live here and we have a by default this API go to the user but is with middleware and it's going to re return that user but for now I'm going to make a, an example wrote a get and I'm going to call it test we can make a closure here a request the request and I'm going to return first just an array for example for our first example and I'm going to call it hello API okay save this one uh, open the insomnia and uh, now we need to make a get request to the test and we're going to return this hello API okay so here we make a new request I'm going to call it test a get request and HTTP Laravel API does test because I'm working with a Laravel Valley and all the Laravel all the application inside the Laravel directory is going to have this domain.test and to make a test of this endpoint we need to make to go to slash api and or test here okay slash api slash test uh, make a request on some supported protocol yeah because i don't write it correctly HTTP send yeah hello API okay now if I go now to the .env we have this Laravel API database by default this name you can change or you can leave it and create new database with that name and go I have created one and go and migrate your database okay uh, 
but before I want to remove this just to create a fake uh, users and migrate fresh seed okay now if I go to my database and inside or Laravel API users we have 10 fake users and now here I want to return I'm going to return just like that uh, user make sure you import the user model user all import the user and save go to the insomnia make a request and yeah we have uh, 10 users if I want only one user I'm going to make it here uh, find and give you the idea of one for example go here and make a request yeah uh, the beauty here is because if, we, if I want to return only the a name, email, and create a dot for example. I can do like this. Uh, user is going to be with the user find the ID of that ID, and I'm going to return an array with a name. It's going to be the user name and uh, email is going to be user email and uh, created that I'm just going to call it create I'm going to return the user created at save and if I go to Insomnia, make a request, yeah, we have the name, have the email, and create it where the user is created at. Okay, cool. Now to make, uh, this is just the example, the first one. I want to make a, a CRAT, and for that I'm going to make a model here, artisan make model and call it movie movie and dash and for creating a migration for the movie okay and if i go now here we have the movie data uh, migration and i'm going to add a string for title of our movie another one for a string for the overview another one for uh, yeah string uh, for the poster and what we can have another one for the boolean yeah with a boolean and for the adult and by default it's going to be zero save this and migrate okay yeah I go here to the database refresh we have the movies here title of review poster adult and created that okay and the mm -hmm. next video we are going to make a controller and make a crat with a API so we're going to 
delete this one and leave it what we had make a save or remove this one just sorry <laughs> forget and see you in the next video if you like please subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends thank you very much